got out of church, you know you got to go to God's house. Forsake not the gathering. Good. I'm going to head over there. I'll keep y'all posted. I hope y'all had fun at church today, too. Y'all that didn't go, remember, to love you. And no matter what you've done, we paid that price for you. God bless y'all. So I just got back to my shelter. Slowly but surely, I've been having to replace some of these uh, metal stakes because they just ain't holding in the ground so well. If you look at this one. been doing is I've been making the stakes out of uh, st uh, nice sticks that I chopped down uh, dead sticks from the woods and they sure do hold a lot better than those little metal ones man I'm telling you what so I'm gonna give y'all a little tutorial DIY and how to make your stakes so if you forget them at the house or you know you have the same problem that I'm having all right all you need Stick. I shaved down the bark already and I'm starting to point off that tip. Alright, so I'm going to set y'all down so you can watch this process. Okay. So all I'm doing is I got a rock right here. I'm using for a good surface because I don't have a big stump. Preferably you want to use another bigger piece of wood, a stump or something. Even the ground's going to be better, but this ground is uh, really nasty. Muddy and everything still from the rain from yesterday. So I'm using this rock, and all I'm doing is creating a point to start out with. After I shaved all the, pretty much the bark off, you know, I'm just taking my knife and drawing it like this, getting rid of that bark, going through those knots. So this way, you know, it's cleaning it up the wood a little bit. You know, and then I'm making my point right here at the bottom, chopping away. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. Just want a good point to pierce through that ground. Slowly but surely, chopping it away at all sides. Now I'm going to go to the ground a little bit on the dirt because I'm getting pretty close to that. I don't want to really mess up my machete. pretty just a nice point to it now I'm going to go to this other side and think about how deep I want my stake to go and go up a little bit more I got a knot right there so I can use that to my advantage that knot is going to be a lot harder to uh, going to be a good nice sturdy spot if I want to beat on I got another knot right here so I'm going to cut it right here I got a saw on the back side of my machete Go ahead and saw it right here. Just around the perimeter. I think the best saw that comes on these machetes. But I do not have one of those foldable saws. Keep slipping like that. Use your foot. Hold it right up into position. Just 
just rolling, cutting around, turning my wood and cutting, working the outside in. So I get to a good spot, then break it off. Now one final thing, I want a spot where my uh, paracord can catch on to and not slip. So all I'm going to do is go on a little bit of an angle, a little lower, and I'm just going to cut a little notch on an angle. That's going to give my uh, paracord I'm going to use something to grip onto and not flip. So y'all can see that. Just a little low notch for that paracord to catch on to. Now what we need is a little bit of paracord. Can you see it now? Yeah. Wind's blowing. How's oh, that wind blowing? Ooh. They're gonna take your rock and put it on the inside of the tarp. Pinch around it. Take your paracord. And just run it through. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you do this, run it through, but I like to uh, keep my knot over here by the rock. Wow, that wind is not working with me. The wind is just making it hard trying to pull the tarp away. behind that rock. Ugh, there we go. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my stake, figure out where it's going to go. Run my paracord through. going to go first. Ugh. You want this right there. Alright, now as soon as I take my hatchet though, y'all going to use my wallet to support you. Uh, hold on, laying you down. Go. Now, pipe with that wind. Oh, I'll bring it back over right here. Hammer this stick down. Bring my paracord up. That paracord is going to sit right there inside of that the little groove that we placed. Slide it up again, bam, right up into there. See, that is not going to slip. Beat this all the way down now. This is not going to come out either. That is nice and solid. There we go. Hope y'all enjoyed. What's up Facebook and YouTube? <laughs> I couldn't help it, man. I look, it looked kind of scary and weird like that, huh? 
Well, anyway, hey, end of the day, Sunday, awesome day today, man. Church I went to, man, God did a, God, you know, had a really good message about, um, being, uh, children of the promise and not children of the flesh. How we, uh, fight with our Esau, um, our flesh and that our flesh must be subject to our spirit and whatnot. Um, but it was awesome, man. And come to find out, you know, I got invited over to those people's places to eat. Well, uh, you know, there, a whole bunch of those people were like Amish that, um, walked away from the colony because they were too much into the law and everything. And, you know, they, uh, a lot of them, I guess, believe the only way you're going to make it to heaven is, you know, you got to, you know, the ark of, you know, in a way, um, they don't believe it's like necessarily just Christ, you know, the colonies is considered their ark. And, uh, these people, um, walked away from those colonies because they weren't biblical and, you know, their hunger for God is just, wow. It was awesome, man. Great time of fellowship and, and everything. But anyway, long story short, it's the end of the day. It's supposed to go down to like 48 degrees tonight, y'all. 48 degrees. So I got my fire ready. Uh, I got my firewood ready to go. And God's will to be nice and warm tonight. Already got the fire going. It's nice and toasty in here now. It's just keeping it going all night long. I got plenty of wood ready. So... Y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow.